Hey, good morning, guys. Now, just a day after a city lost one firefighter, Lieutenant John Torg lost his life yesterday in a fire at the Gold Coast. Now, his friends are telling us, and a former co-worker, they're telling us that he was always someone that was willing to help others. A real like, likable guy. He could do anything. He could fix anything. He could fix a car, washing machine, dryer, anything. And everybody used to call him up to have him do it, and he'd never say no. He was always ready to help anybody. Tony Allegretti speaking on his friend, 55-year-old Lieutenant John Torque, who lost his life yesterday while on a job as a Chicago firefighter. Yesterday morning, Torque was responding to a fire with Tower Ladder 10 around 7 a.m. in the Gold Coast apartment building on the 1200 block of North Lakeshore Drive. The flames engulfed the 27th floor apartment. The fire commissioner telling us he was making his way up the stairs after the elevators went out. He collapsed on the 11th floor and was taken to Northwestern Hospital where he later died. We train every day to do our very best. Unfortunately, sometimes when you get to situations, fires are unpredictable. His death comes just a day after 49-year-old Jermaine Pelt lost his life while fighting a fire in a two-story home in the West Pullman neighborhood near the corner of 120th and Wallace. The firefighter had to be pulled from the home after crews were ordered to get out. The medical examiner's office say he died from carbon monoxide poisoning and smoke inhalation. The loss of these two firefighters have been a hit to the department. Right now, I have two funerals to prepare for, two grieving families, and a huge department that's broken, including the command staff. There's been fires where two or three firemen have died in the same fire, but something like this, yeah, this is the first time in, in my 45 years that I've been on the job. And two other firefighters are still listed in fair condition after fighting that fire in the Gold Coast yesterday morning. Of course, we'll continue to monitor their recovery. For now, we're live in Old Town, Glenn Marshall. WGN News.